If you're going grid tied, the calculation straightforward. Your fridge uses about 1.2 kilowatt hours per day, roughly 438 kilowatt hours per year. Now, a typical 400 watt solar panel in most of the US gets about four to five hours of good sunlight per day on average throughout the year. So one panel produces around 1.6 to 2 kilowatt hours daily. That means one panel could cover your fridge's energy needs, maybe two if you're in a cloudier area or want some buffer. But let's be real, you're not installing solar just for your fridge, you're covering your whole house. Usually 25 to 35 panels for an average American home. The fridge is just a small piece of that total system. Now let's talk battery backup, what actually keeps your fridge running when the power's out for days. Here's where many installers mess up. They size for one day and assume the sun shines every day. But three cloudy days during a storm, your battery's dead by day two. I review these undersized systems constantly. We plan for two to three days of autonomy. Your battery runs essential loads with zero solar generation. Using our example, 1,800 watt hours per day, three days means 5,400 watt hours of storage, but lithium batteries last longer if you only use 80% of capacity. So to get 5,400 usable watt hours, you need about 6,750 total. Call it 6.75 kilowatt hours. One Tesla Powerwall 3 gives you 13.5 kilowatt hours. So one unit covers your fridge plus lights, Wi-Fi, outlets, medical devices.